Hey, what's up everybody? I am out here in the shop tonight. I'm building up a few bolts for a buddy of mine. And while I'm sitting here doing this, I just thought I'd make a video on what I think is the best and easiest 500 plus grain bolt build that you can do. And kind of my recipe that has worked really well, not only for this particular shaft, which I'm gonna show you, but several other shafts that I have kind of done the same recipe on and they've also worked really well. So first, what I think the easiest, as well as, in my opinion, the best shaft on the market is the Sirius Phoenix. And I apologize, this one's pretty chewed up. This is the one I've been doing a lot of testing with. But man, these bolts, they really are just the best ones that I've shot. And I haven't shot every bolt, but I've shot quite a few. And as far as um, weight consistency goes, as far as spine consistency goes, how this bolt tears through paper, uh, shooting the three different fletching positions, rotating my knock, shooting the three different fletching positions as my odd feather down. This bolt tears way less on all three of them than most other bolts. So to me, that is telling me that the spine is extremely consistent throughout this entire bolt. And we can usually find one that is the best, but the other two, they are not far off at all. Uh, straightness tolerance on this bolt is one thou. It's 9.54 grains per inch and it comes standard right from Sirius Archery with a 110 grain stainless steel ethics insert. You can knock that down to 90 grains if you want to, but what I have found works really well is that full 110 grain insert. So as this bolt sits right now, there's no point in it. Full 110 grain insert, bolt from the factory with the stock knock is 381 grains. If you add a 100 grain field point, which it does shoot well with, uh, you're at 481. You're just shy of that 500 mark, um, but if that's what you want to shoot, this bolt will shoot it well. Where it has really shined is with a 125 or a 150, and I personally have been shooting the 150, but probably a half dozen of my friends have been shooting this bolt with a 125 and have loved it. So the 125, you're going to be at 506. With the 150, you're going to be at 531. I mean, this bolt is basically, it is set up, ready to go with like I said, in my opinion, the best shaft on the market, arguably the best inserts on the market coming from ethics. All you got to do is pick which point weight you want to shoot, shoot it through paper, make sure you find the fletching position that is the best. And you will shoot both field points as well as broadheads really, really, really well with this bolt. So I highly recommend it. I've got a link down below in the description to the Sirius Phoenix. So check them out. And I mean, I guess to kind of you know, validate that 110 plus 150 up front, so that 260 total. Uh, I took a, a Killer Instinct Hyper SWAT XP bolt. It's another 22 inch bolt. This is the bolt that came with my SWAT XP. I basically did the same thing. I pulled the insert out. I put a 110 grain brass insert in this one um, and that 150 grain field point. So I took this bolt from a 400 grain bolt um, that 400 grains would include a 100 grain point. That's per the Killer Instinct website. And I turned it into a 510 grain bolt. And again, this awesome. I mean, it does. That 260 up front, that seems to work really well for me. And what I really like about this setup, having the ability to shoot either like a 125 or a 150, you're right in that sweet spot for broadheads for a crossbow. So. If you want to shoot either a fixed blade or an expandable, a lot of crossbow heads, crossbow specific heads are in that 125 grain category. So you're going to get a 500 grain setup, um, especially with the Phoenix, a 506 grain setup um, with just a ton of different broadheads to choose from. Um, the 150, you've got a lot of fixed blade options to choose from. And you're also, you're creeping into the territory of being able to buy those kind of premium fixed blades, like the cutthroats that I shot last year. You know, those start at 150 grains. You are entering that realm of broadheads as well. A lot of options with that 110 up front and either 125 or 150 point weight to go with it. And you know, the one thing that a lot of people, when I first have talked about the Sirius Phoenix do, the first thing they say is, man, these bolts are kind of expensive. It's like, yeah, well, they're also really freaking awesome. Um, they shoot really well. You're going to get great consistency out of them. They are tough. They hit hard. And I mean, we spend a ton of money on crossbows and for good reason. I mean, technology has increased. You know, we all want different things in a crossbow. 
But man, a crossbow is just a big kinetic energy machine. Same as a compound, same as a longbow, whatever. They're just kinetic energy machines. You know, this is the vehicle. You know, that is the propulsion. This is the vehicle. And this is what is killing. So don't chintz out on this and this because this is what's going through the deer and this is what's going to matter when you hit a deer. So invest some money. I would recommend and the best shaft that you can get. If you want my opinion, the best shaft is the Sirius Phoenix. If you want to shoot a different shaft, if you got something else that you like, I'm telling you 110 up front, 125 or 150 um, seems to be a really good recipe for a bunch of different crossbows. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that. Check out the links below to some of the stuff that I'm using. And remember, be a sportsman, make a sportsman.